Which color tastes the best? A purple color. A little bit like um, the leather insect. Oh, oh, oh yeah. like an insect. Our journey into northern Vietnam continues. Last week, we traveled from Hanoi to Ta Phin Village, home of the Red Yao people. Next week, we'll be visiting Bac Ha Market. And finally, we'll end our journey in Dong Bac. But today, we're back with our local guide, May to learn the secret behind her family's naturally radiant sticky rice. Though, there is just one small problem. <laughs> oh, we are getting crunk in here. After a night of pounding shots with a local Red Yao family, <coughs> oh. and after sucking down some of the local tobacco, I am in need of some rejuvenation. You said this is for a leaf bath? We use the local medicine to okay. make herbal bath. When we walk the field, we feel very tired. Mm. We have herbal bath. Uh, then we feel very better. But it looks like they've got me covered with that, too. May, when you said I could take this relaxing, rejuvenating bath today, yes. what I really wanted to do was hike up a, a mountain. Now we go to the mountain to pick, uh, to pick medicine. Okay. Yeah, to pick something to make herbal bath. They don't just have yeah. herbs laying around. We gotta pick these herbs. They're fresh herbs, guys. If you have herbal bath, I, uh, that's make you more more younger. <laughs> okay, good. I need that. Okay. I really need that. <laughs> <laughs> After trekking literally over 50 kilometers, that was about 50 kilometers, right? Yes. <laughs> no. Kai, you're not supposed to laugh. If you swing over here, Kai, you can see our beautiful bathtub herbs. The medicinal herbs, they're gonna go in my rejuvenating bath in my little mountain spa session. Can you tell me what is special about these herbs? This leaf to make herbal bath, this very good for the health, and this very popular in my village. This natural medicine, if you have herbal bath, tomorrow you feel very better, like a relaxing. Oh, yes. what if I have a hangover today? Yeah, if you, have, uh, you get fever or a little bit headache, you have herbal bath, and then you feel very better. And that's also good for the skin. Good for the skin. Yes. We're gonna be aromatic, we're gonna be healthy, and we're gonna be strong. Coming up. I don't think this bathtub is big enough for me. No, no, later we, uh, later we get this water to put the bath. How long will we boil the leaves in here? About uh, one hour. We have to take a lot of leaves because um, we have 28 medicine to make herbal bath. There's 28 different herbs? Yes. My skin is gonna be so tasty after this. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> May was telling me that usually when they do the bath, I think maybe you've heard these stories before, like the oldest person goes first, and then it goes through all the men, and then all the ladies. So usually when it's bath time, she's like the last one. And luckily today, <sighs> I'm the first one. <laughs> and after I get out, I think I'm going to be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this is toasty. Look at the construction of this barrel. They made this barrel. They grow their own food. They build their own house. They can do literally everything. It's quite amazing. Am I supposed to dip my face? Am I supposed to dip my face under? It's a lot like I'm in a giant cup of tea right now. A feeling I didn't know I wanted before. Thank you, off-camera person. I didn't realize it was going to be this hot. I feel like I'm about to faint. I'm told this is a good thing. This is the goal. I have purged the rice wine demons from yesterday, and now it is time to go eat. Let's go. Down in the Woo! Wow. I must say, May, Yes. I'm feeling a lot better, uh, rejuvenated, I'm refreshed, and I'm ready for the next step. What are we doing next? 
Oh, I have a uh, spare for you. Whoa, this is so yes. cool. So this was made here in the yes, village? Yes, this for handmade. Is it lucky or something? Uh, no, this uh, make you more handsome. <laughs> okay, great. We're going to make our food for today. A very special food to yes. this area. Yes. What is it called? Sticky rice. Sticky rice. Look, yes. you've had ordinary rice. You've had rice that just falls apart and isn't sticky at all. But today we're going in the opposite direction. Okay, we're going with rice. That is sticky. We have uh, about five, like five colors to make with sticky rice. So obviously you have all the ingredients and everything we need is already here. We, we can go to pick some meat on the gar in the garden. We get to go climb again? Yes. The sticky rice we'll be making today is usually reserved for the New Year's holiday or other special occasions, like when I'm here. We're trekking again, we're heading into the mountain, and what are we looking for this time? Uh, now we... We go to the mountain, mountain find some leaf to make sticky rice. That's color, make the food more, more delicious, more, more colorful. Typically prepared with five different colors, they actually dye the rice naturally using only special herbs growing near their home. We're using natural herbs to yes. dye the rice. Yeah, yes. And yeah. they'll all have a little different taste. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Which color tastes the best? A purple color, a little bit like the um, French fry or like the small animal, that like the insect. Oh, oh, oh yeah. like an insect. Yes. I can't wait to figure out that flavor profile. That <laughs> sounds wild to me. Right now, your mom is picking some of these. Do you need yeah. any help? You can pick this one. Once we've gathered our ingredients, we head back to the house to prep the rice, starting by boiling the herbs in water until they take on the new color. We have all of our rice ingredients, and your mother is hard at work down here. So what color is this? No, 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 no. Oh, this, this is blue. Blue color. Look at that. This blueness is coming yes. just from, from a plant. Yeah, some plant. Yes. Whoa. Mm. It's so bright. But so this is all still just the raw rice. Mm -hmm. It is not cooked yet. Um, but I don't know what makes it sticky rice. What is the difference between normal rice and sticky rice? Uh, sticky rice that for different um, different kind of rice for normal rice. It's not like a different preparation. It's actually like a whole different kind of yes, plant. Yes. I always thought sticky rice was like prepared differently. Like they cooked it a little too long. Yeah. It's just a different kind of rice. Yes. 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 See, we're all learning. Actually, literally everyone in Asia knew that except for me. So maybe just I'm learning. Okay. Mm. So she's gonna pour in the purple right now. Wow. So then you just cook the rice like you would normally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's get to boiling yes. so we can get to eat it. With the rice underway, our meal is still not complete without the peanut dip, made by shelling and frying peanuts, then crushing them into tiny salty bits. Actually, it turned out much more beautiful than I even expected. It's radiant uh, blue, purple, yellow. Um, what color is that? I think it's called rice. What? It's rice color? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one's just got a rice color. I thought the whole purpose was just to dye it to make it pretty, but it actually is changing the flavor of the food. And which one was the one that tastes like insects? Purple. Uh, I tried insect for before. You tried eating it yes. inside. Yeah, yeah. What insect did you eat? Uh, like, um, is I don't know, but I we just conduct the insect flying. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it, it tastes like some kind of flying insect? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. that got me excited. You've got some fried salty peanut dip, but we're gonna first just try it alone. Mm -hmm. Straight up purple rice to see if it really tastes like insects. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? Mm -hmm. It's not like normal rice, but I don't know that it has an insect flavor. Mm. But I like it. It tastes like the color purple. I'm gonna try some with this peanut here. It's best with the peanut, right? Yeah. Mm. That's really yummy. I love it. The rice is really chewy. 
And then there's some great salt to the peanut. Don't tell me. I'm gonna see what blue tastes like to me, and then I'm gonna ask you what okay. you think. Yes. Okay, here we go. Mm. For me, it just tastes like rice. I'm gonna try some more blue. We're gonna dip it right here into this peanut sauce. Mmm. You need the peanuts, huh? Yeah, I need the peanuts. Mmm. It's really, really good with the peanuts. Salty, peanutty, chewy, those three things, exactly. And nothing more and nothing less. Let's try some yellow. Am I eating this properly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have enough or I have too much. Which is it? Yeah, you know, we just eat it like that. You usually eat it like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that would take me, <laughs> by the time I finish eating, I'd be ready to eat again. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Yellow <laughs> flavor. Mm. Mm. I think the, the special herbs that we mix with them, it makes them all a little bit more like aromatic, even more fresh tasting, but nothing really strong. I think a lot of the flavor really comes from that peanut, huh? Let's try it out, cheers. Mmm. that's so yummy. For me today, it was just all about the process making it, seeing how it's done. It's really impressive that you guys just do this beginning to end all from what's around you. Even yeah. our tablecloth right here <laughs> from a banana tree in the backyard. We had a great time. The food was amazing, yeah, yeah. but the experience was even better. So thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you, yes. Do you know that one? It's kimchi. You call this kimchi? Yeah. If you're looking for your own amazing way to experience Vietnam, well, let me tell you about a little company called One Trip. One Trip is a company putting on tours all over Vietnam, currently in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An. From food tours to adventure tours, One Trip has you covered. Links for that are in the description down below. We will see you next week. A kimchi. <laughs> kimchi? Yeah, kimchi. Yeah, okay. Kimchi. <laughs> Peace. Peace.